happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It's a pretty decent one out on our major highways and expressways. We had a couple of problems earlier. Uh, for the most part, they've cleared away, and that's what we're looking at right now, where we did have an earlier problem on the Toronto bound QEW in the left lanes. Things are uh, picking up through this area for sure. Those two left lanes obviously open now, which is fantastic, but you'll find it slow approaching the Burlington Skyway. Outside of that, we're just looking at typical volume. So this is a look at the southbound 427 ramp to uh, the Gardner. That's the express ramp to the Gardner. It's a little bit busy heading down towards the Gardner. Then once you get on to the Gardner, let's see how many times I can say that. Uh, we're looking at delays from Grand all the way over to about South Kingsway. So do give yourself that extra time heading into downtown this morning. Other than that, though, things are moving pretty well. Off the highway, we do have Richmond down to a single lane between Bathurst and Spadina. That is all for water main repair. So do uh, give yourself extra time heading through that area as well. That's a look at your roads. Over to you, Frankie. Hey, we're just going to take a look at some of the uh, numbers for today. Sunrise this morning, 558. And we're seeing a beautiful looking sunrise out there. The sun sets at 849. Seasonal highs for this time of year should be right around 27 with an overnight low right around 15. We're far from the record today. Uh, we're nice in terms of where we should be for morning temperatures right around 16. Pretty much a seasonal day is what we're seeing with the daytime high today going to be about 26 and a humid exit 28. Satellite system shows us nothing really to be concerned about with that UV index today is going to be on the very high side. So if you're outdoors for an extended period of time, it's always a good idea to put on some sun protection in the form of sunscreen even simply wearing a hat. 26 is your temperature today with those light winds. Tomorrow we'll ramp up the humidex. We'll see it up to about 33, so not terrible. 29 winds out of the northwest into the later afternoon. About a 30% chance of seeing some showers into or a thunderstorm. It'll be hot on your Friday. Humid as well. Humidex 36, but nothing but sunshine and a daytime high of 30. That is a look at your forecast over the next three. Police say four people have been arrested after a stolen construction truck ended up on the front lawn of a Mississauga home last night. The truck was found here at around 1130 on Stonecutter Crescent near Eglinton and Winston Churchill. Appeal police say they had pursued the truck earlier in the evening, but that pursuit was called off. Four people were taken into custody eventually. No word yet on what, if any, charges will be laid. Toronto police investigating a shooting at Tiago Avenue and Westview Boulevard. That is on Vic Park, just north of Sinclair. Officers getting the call late last night at around 10 o'clock for the sound of gunshots, reportedly five of them. Uh, police finding shell casings at the scene, but no victims or suspects have been found. A six-year-old girl continuing to fight for her life in hospital this morning after being hit by a car in the city's north end. It happened around 4.45 yesterday afternoon in a school parking lot near Allen Road and Lawrence. Investigators say the child was on the way back to her car with her mom when she turned back to look at a drain cover, and that's when she was struck. She was rushed to hospital with life-threatening injuries. The driver of the vehicle remained on scene. Still no word on if charges will be laid. John Tory will be putting up his feet for the next few weeks, but it's not for a summer break. The mayor is undergoing surgery on his Achilles tendon today at Humber River Hospital. I've never had surgery before, so I'll admit to being a bit apprehensive about it all, just in terms of everything from the general anesthetic to the recovery period and all that. So I guess it's the unknown for me, like it is for any person facing their first surgery. But, um, you know, it was uh, it was just necessary that I should have my Achilles tendon, tendon reconstructed, which is a more, co more complicated operation than just uh, fixing a severed Achilles tendon. And the mayor's office says that he's injured his Achilles tendon three times over the last few years, the last time being in October of 2018. Deputy Mayor Denzel Minen Wong will serve as acting mayor while Tory is in surgery. His recovery is expected to take a couple of weeks. If you've been following our weekly election connection segment here on BT, you know that a federal election is coming up this fall. However, what date Canadians will hit the polls is up in the air right now. It's due to some conflict with a religious holiday. By law, election day can be no later than October 21st, which this year falls on a Jewish holiday, permitting those who take part from work, voting or campaigning that will actually have a lot of people missing out on voting. Elections Canada mulled over the idea of changing the date before the start of election campaigns but decided against it. Well, now a federal judge is ordering the country's chief electoral officer to circle back on whether or not it needs to be moved. A decision will be made by August 1st.